Matt Young for Fightful here with Impact Wrestling Champion Josh Alexander. Josh, first of all, thanks for doing this. Uh, really close to home for you here in St. Catharines. You know, you're a Canadian guy. What's it like wrestling every time you get an opportunity in Canada? Well, I mean, St. Catharines is kind of special because when I started, when I discovered that wrestling existed outside of what I saw on TV, I was going to Brock University down the street here. Of course. I was taking, <laughs> I was taking business management and I... Uh, I found my first school, went to Hamilton, you know, drove back and forth every day to train and stuff like that and promptly dropped out of university, <laughs> which I don't suggest for everybody else. But yeah, coming back to Canada, especially now being Impact World Champion, being able to like kind of champion that brand, be the, the face of the company and stuff. It's like, it's cool to come back with like the kind of success I've had elsewhere and, and bring back and hopefully get more eyes on the Canadian scene because like I wrestled here for 14 years a long time a long time and I, I like almost 100 matches every year because like the scene is so good here and I think there's so many talented wrestlers here and so many big shows I just I, I it was always my goal to get more eyes on the scene here in Canada mainly so like the other guys like this next generation this next crop of wrestlers can get noticed sooner and quicker than I did you know what I mean you know, people, they see you in the ring now, but they don't necessarily understand, perhaps, that at one point in time, you had to retire. You had a pretty serious neck injury, did you not? So you, you had a pretty serious neck injury. You had to retire. But since you've come back, you've had all the success in the world. How do you view your career the second time around now that you've had an opportunity after retiring and to do everything that you've done since? Well, this is like the weirdest thing I can say. I've been asked this question many times, and it's always the same answer. Uh, you know, breaking my neck and having neck surgery and having to step away from wrestling was the best thing that ever happened to me in my entire career. Uh, because, like, I was always talented before. I wrestled for, I think it was nine years before I broke my neck. And I was always talented. I always got booked. I always, you know, I was a champion around in Ontario and stuff like that. I thought I was very successful, but I never, I never did the work. So when I thought I had to retire and, you know, my neck was banged up, I, I really had time to think and be like, you know, I have all these regrets of not, you know, putting in the work where I needed to do get to that next level and you know when I came back it was just nothing but work to make sure you know I, I got you know better so when I got those opportunities I could you know hit home runs and like here I am man like Impact Wrestling gave me an opportunity and that's all I've been doing since. The obvious question is how do you feel physically at all, you know after all this time and how's the neck? Oh the neck's fine uh, I mean I, there's no wood to knock on you know, <laughs> but uh yeah, no, uh, you know, you get bumps and bruises and all that stuff. I've had a few injuries along the way, but nothing that's going to keep me down because I think that neck injury was probably, it's hopefully the worst thing I'm ever going to have to endure. You would but, hope. Uh, I, you know, now being a full-time wrestler and stuff, I, I do so much work on my body to keep myself healthy to make sure that I'm in tip-top shape and keep doing this at a high level all the time. So I, I feel younger now at 35 than I did at 25. So. Fair enough. You've, you've won, you know, the tag titles in Impact. You're a two-time Impact champion now. What's left to accomplish there for you as, well, I mean, I guess you're still the champion, so defending it, but what's left for the rest of your career in Impact? Well, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, within my first three years there, I became Triple Count champion and all that stuff, and now holding the world championship, you're saying what's left, like, I just eclipsed Sting's reign as one of the longest reigning champions, so I'm now fourth highest reigning, and I mean, you know, Bobby Roode is the longest reigning champion of all time, he's not far away now if I hang on this championship for a few more months I'll eclipse him as well and be the longest running champion for both tag team and world champion and company history but uh, my, my ultimate goal with impact and everything is you know to grow the company because I think like the roster and everybody we're so talented we just need to get more eyes back on that company and stuff like that and we're doing that picking away with like our app specials and our pay-per-views I think there's some of like the most stacked cards that deliver you know, from opening match all the way to main event. And trust me, going on main event on those shows, I feel the pressure because <laughs> everybody's raising the bar all the way up a until my match more. goes out. And I, I got to go out there and work extra hard. But, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way because, you know, I embrace the pressure of it. So, you Just talked about the roster. Great foreshadow and segue into my next question. Who do you want to work with there that you haven't had a chance to work with yet that you see and you see they're on their way up? Who is it that you'd like to work with? There's so many people. Like, uh, there's people in the X Division. Uh, the Mike Bailey's, another Canadian wrestler yeah. that I think is one of the best wrestlers in the world. I think the stuff that we could do together would be, you know, stuff that I don't think a lot of other wrestlers could really do in that ring. We could put on something special. But then you got guys like Trey Miguel, Ace Austin, Chris Bay in the X Division. They're all extremely talented, and I think they're ready to make that leap up to maybe the world title scene. And then the, if I'm going to pick the one guy that I think has the most momentum right now and the one I'm interested to get in the ring with is uh, Steve Macklin. So. All right, fair enough. Last question. My friend Sean Rossap wanted me to ask you this one. Uh-oh. 
It's going to how is to do it? A scooter. It just might actually, yes. How is it that you've managed to accomplish all this? He thought your confidence might be shaken a little bit, losing that scooter race to him. How did that affect your, your confidence? And how did you lose a scooter race to that guy? That's really the question here. Uh, well, my scooter may or may not have been functioning at the time of the race. Uh, you know, leave that up to the judges to figure out at the time. But uh, yeah, you know, every once in a while, you got to give back, you know what I mean? And when I saw that opportunity to kind of, you know, boost Sean Ross Sapp's confidence. And, you were you know, putting them over. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's what we do in this business. We see somebody, their confidence is down. Maybe they think they're counted out before they even start the race. And, you know, you just got to put them over and, you know, you know, give back every once in a while. So you're welcome, Sean Ross Sapp. All right. Thanks for doing this. We'll let you get ready for the event tonight. Thanks again, Josh. Yeah, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate it. If you don't get NordVPN.com slash Fightful, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find out about your big life events, and I'm going to break the news. I'm going to scoop you. But if you do get NordVPN.com slash Fightful, you can change your virtual location with just one click. I won't be able to do that. I mean, honestly, I'm probably not going to anyway because I'm too busy watching all the great content that I have access to thanks to NordVPN.com slash Fightful. But I might. I might threaten it for the sake of this read. And you don't want that, do you? I don't. I don't want to spend my time doing that, but you're going to force me into it. Four months free, 30-day money-back guarantee, block online trackers, block malware, block annoying pop-up ads on all your devices. They've got three great tiers, pass, a locker, a VPN. You can watch all your favorite shows abroad, get pay-per-views at a much more affordable price with NordVPN.com slash Fightful.